All right, are we good to finally get this shit going? Yeah. Start. Yeah, so all those sticky knees starting life wasn't the best. <laughs> oh, certainly not. 1,000 years earlier. <laughs> Gergfer. That's a name. Gergfer. The initial limbs were a success, and I am confident the premise is sound. The thought of that sickness taking you first is too much to bear. We can ride this out together. We can endure. <sighs> Drek, you can't be serious. There were things they told us of. Things without souls that walk in forgotten places, following orders from centuries ago. Don't linger in caves. Don't delve too deep. Could be Morthagi down there. <laughs> Do you want to voice Cabranth or should I? Best you. <laughs> Alright. A friend of mine went down anyway once. I was furious with him. Huh. <laughs> Nightjar was always our go to threat growing up. Now that was a monster. And things in the dark can be left unseen. Until suddenly, they can't. Shocked noises. Run. Woof. Don't let it get away. Wait, no, nobody go running off yet. They may not bleed, but let's see if they can die. <laughs> because apparently we're not kids right now. Gabranth, grab whatever you can, swing, and come on! Ah, uh, oh. I would say the middle one. Yeah, who is this even referring to here? Uh, Aralia? <laughs> yeah, middle one then. Yeah, no, you are not getting into a romantic relationship with your own damn daughter, motherfucker. This, this ain't Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any grand battle strategies? Uh, considering we've got about three seconds. Let's see if we can get at them from multiple sides. <laughs> That's uh, a plus one warding and armor. Spe one spectic, one sommelier. Alright. We're all so, farmers right now, except for Aralia. She can shoot. Yeah, I'm Gabrant, you're Panara. We can both do. Yeah. So, where are you right now? So, you're down there. Yeah, that was Aralia who just there. shot. Panara is right next to Gabranth because, of course. Yeah. I will wall with you. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just gonna get myself one closer. There you go. There's the other one. Oh no! This game is this game is mildly XCOM. <laughs> uh, I always perceive it as more being really simple D and D. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go for that Spetnik because Gabrant can reach it. I was gonna have a release the back and plunk it, but all right. Gabrant can't reach the other one, so. Hey, you son of a bitch! <laughs> right. Can't Panara take, you know, control and any objects? Do some magic. She's not a Where mystic yet. Nah, we're all, we're all farmers right now. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna move the bronze in over here. Ah, he's dodging everything. Bastards. Better. The battle music is just so damn chill. Oh, 
I'll try and flank it. Yeah. Good idea. Weak Dotty. So Grant is now a Greenhorn Warrior. You know, while I was playing with Panarin 14 uh, the other day, playing with my mm -hmm. dad, I was uh, waiting outside of a dungeon for the Duty Finder to pop, and another new player came up and talked to me for a second while they were waiting, pointing out that, uh, you know, your character looks kind of dead. Because, you know, I was playing Panara. You <laughs> want to pick a Raleigh's ability, or...? All right, yeah. Also, why have you given me the slightly derpy face? <laughs> I... Try to give her a sad looking face. <laughs> that one just looks. I look at that face and it just reminds me of a ditto. <laughs> Sorry. That wasn't. <laughs> Door sounds very simple, man, okay? <laughs> uh, uh, so. That's too rogue. She likes stealth. She's a stealth elf. Alright, and Panara. Open mind's pretty good, you can do two objects at once. Yeah. Moon Willow Belt, plus 0.7 speed. That's speed, so that should probably go to the Ranger. Probably. Ralia. Yeah, okay. Ralia will get that. So, first order of business, we break these things down and hack up their parts. Second order, though? We can't very well go back to sweeping cobblestones after this. Not when it could be happening elsewhere. Panara's right. Better to take on a threat than, well, us. We'll hunt them. We'll find them. We'll dig these splinters out of the world. We'll need a company name. Because the adventures of Gabranth, Aralia, and Panara sound silly. And what if more people join? Totally unworkable. I was thinking... Hmm, what shall we name this one? The Black Storm. Yeah, I mean, that would be simple, but it works. <laughs> All three or of just... us have the same damn family name. Yeah, Oh. Old... Hmm. works. Well, it's unique, at least. Here follow the tales of the Black Storm. Hold on, before we continue, I just want to quickly... Also, my audio settings a bit. All right. And we can already recruit a new member. Usually can right at the beginning. Uh, so what do we have here? We have several impassable mountains. Pretty much one direction we can go right now. Well, that makes it simple. Uh, do we want to send anyone to go recruit a new party member? Yeah, we might as well just grab them first. We need to do some healing anyway, so... Do it. Who do we get? Who do we want this to be? I can't see them, because I'm not the leader. So. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, it's all the same. Do you want to... Uh... Oh, shit, we're not paused. Pause, pause. <laughs> I can't pause. Uh, yeah, we're not paused while doing this, so just... I'll just fucking randomize them. Ah. Okay. God. Why didn't it pause? I don't know. That was <laughs> annoying. Indeed. It didn't take long to trek back to Amarshur, and the town still seemed like the best bet for finding another able pair of hands. Hmm. Wait! It's you from the... Heroes? The... Right, anyway, I was hoping you'd come back. Everything all right? Oh, everything's fine. And that's just it. It's been quiet in Amisha so far, but I heard those things you said. That talk of monsters and terror and, you know, how it's bearing down on our very civilization. And it stuck with me. More than I would have thought. Is that how we put it? Possibly. Forming a company of heroes can get one a little fired up. You were right, though. Sitting at home waiting to be devoured or corrupted or some such? It didn't sound like such a solid idea anymore. 
Well, we could use another fighter on our side if you're game. Oh, fantastic! I'm glad you offered. I don't know if I could have gotten up the nerve to ask you myself. Far be it from us to turn you down, then. Oh, do we want to modify this guy when we have the chance? I don't know if we do have the chance at present. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when we choose, we can go into the character sheet and just you can alter your characters on the fly. Oh, sweet. Uh, sure, I suppose. But first, what class do we want him to be? <laughs> uh... Well, if we... I mean, if you're going typical Final Fantasy style, you have the you have the the magic healery one. That's Panara. You have the tank with the uh, Gabrard, and then you'd have two damage by two rangers. So another hunter, I guess. Mm. Right, let's train him up. That'll take a bit of time. All right. Uh, let's give him jump jaw traps. Yep. Piercing shots is also really good, but yeah. Uh, I'm sure. I'd also like just laying down traps so we can uh, get choke points and things. Fair enough. All uh, right. So, do we want to modify this guy? So we just click. Click on his. Yeah, right. His, uh, click on. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, do we want either of us to have specific control of him? Uh, let's leave specific control to Pinar and Gabranth as like the main two, and then everyone else can just be. Fair enough. Unless, unless since we have equal number now, you want to have one of us take him and one of us take Aralia. To kind of simplify things. Well, I mean, Aralia is based on knee, so. I guess I'll take knee. Can we change? Oh yeah, controlling player, anyone. I put that to myself. And then Elm goes to you. Oh, okay. Now the question becomes, who the hell is Elm actually? Oh, that is the question. Hmm. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of who he is. Eh. The lore of Zalat isn't quite as deeply explored. <laughs> um. You know what? No. Y you were about to make her a Vela. I was about to. But that's not my character. No, is she not? Mm. Uh. You wanted a Murasan. Why don't you make him Murasan isn't your Murasan? Well, it won't be a cat, but sure. Well, they aren't gray skinned elf people, so. Come on, let's go. Trying to find the closest haircut to uh, 14 Murray Sands. Uh, and that'll do. And colors, of course, were Zalarans, so on a gray skin. His hair is just fucking white. Can't change my hooks at this point, unfortunately. What does he have? Uh, hooks. My hooks are clown, destiny, and shame. 
I'm just gonna well, have to live with those. Aside from, aside from clown, I think they are all right. And I also can't change any of my personality traits. Those are locked in, but appearance. Yeah, sure. those, those can't be changed because uh, quest generation is based around them. Right. Well, either way. Onwards to Green Hill. Green Hill. Scout. Fucking everyone. There is enemies. We attack. Might them. Everyone. In the deep caverns beneath friendly spear stacks. Murasan, keep up! I'm just guarding the rear. You know, for safety. Besides, the torches are all up in the front. It's hard to see where I'm. Oh! Whoosh! Thump! What the wow. <laughs> What? Where? Wow. What is that? How long has this been down here? <sighs> that crystal, it's like an eye watching me wherever I go. <sighs> it's jammed in there pretty tight. You know, last time I had this event, I left it be. I'm gonna pry I, it out. I've never, had the, I've never had this one, but it's only worse at risk, so I go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pry it out. If I can just get my knife in under there. It's just the equivalent of Alistair poking a bomb with a stick. <laughs> hmm. Something's wrong. What's... Oh, good. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? what was... So, I mean, oh, to be fair, you, you chose the blatantly stupid option, just going, oh, what happens if I do this? <laughs> well, because, well, because the last time I let it be, I was curious to see what would happen. Well, now you know. He has a gem for an eye. <laughs> <laughs> Murasan, there you are. Where did you... What happened to your face? I don't... I'm not... There was this gem in the statue. I knew there was something wrong with it. I knew it! But whatever happened to Morthog, you must have heard that scream. Form up. They'll be all over us now. Well, he, his eyes fucked now. Don't know what that does. Specifically. Watchman, Sommelier, Spitnik. Oh, and a stone spirit. Yes. Someone catch it. Uh, the knee is currently the fastest. Or rather, yeah. That's a problem. Alright, so... Stone. I could in... Okay. Stone spirit, be still. We're not going to hurt you. Sorry. So I can enchant the bow, the dagger, or give a legacy point. Because it's a stone bow. Uh, I don't think stone would be particularly effective against robots, will it? I don't know, maybe. I think that'd be more lightning. I think a legacy point would be better. Okay. Actually. Sure, go for it. Use it to counter that on the road. Run free, spirit of the wild! Alright. I'm gonna go and uh, give us some armor. Move Morris in up to wall with you guys. And Panara as well. Wall up. Oof. Francis. Come on. Alright. Second. Yeah, I can't strike the other thing. It's annoying.
Oof. Uh -oh. oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Aralia, no! The blow knocks Aralia back on her heels. Pain doesn't come immediately, but the wet stuff dripping down her face is probably blood. She's never taken a hit like this, at least not that she can remember. Oh, she's not dying here. Eh? Uh... She runs, hopeful that the battle can be won without her. Alone, she staunches her wounds. One gash goes particularly deep. Ugh, that's going to leave a scar. How fitting that Aralia is the first one to get maimed. <laughs> and early on, well, that's great. it's just fitting. <laughs> I need to take care of one of these, or Gabron's gonna be next. I don't use his pin, but he has a ranged attack. That's not good. Oh no! Yeah, Gabron's gonna go. Oof. What you gonna do, man? Well, there's only one thing I can do on these options. Hmm. Back off. Jesus, this is not going well. <laughs> I can't control anyone anymore. Eh, uh, it's to me, I see. I mean, these are some big bastards we ran into the first outside mission. Yeah, so it is. So they are. I mean, he's dead at least. And Panara and Murasan have yet to be injured, so that'll make this easier. Oof, yeah, Raleigh has got a fugly ass scar. And the only one who can who can equip this is Gabrand. So yeah. Yeah, he needs it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see your snake stone bracelet plus five dodge. Who has the lowest dodge? Gabrand has the lowest dodge. All right, give it to him then. Let's see who's talking. Whew. That was close. Thanks for blowing our... Oh, wait, hold on. That's Panara. Whew. That was close. Thanks for blowing our cover. Don't blame me. You'd have screamed too. So... That might, that might have also been slightly problematic, the fact they all came at once in a clump. Indeed. Because so, he screamed. Now what? I don't know. It feels cold, I guess, but it seems like normal. Yes, I learned to live with it. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be a blessing in disguise. Just try and keep up next time, okay? Uh, dear. So I, I veto decisions from now on of just doing them because? <laughs> and I only did that because I had that event in a previous game and I just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> well, yeah, I found out. You have a crystal eye and two of our party members... <laughs> Got maimed, yeah. Let's just secure yeah. the place while those guys are going and getting healed up. I we have to I, take them back to town. Yeah. I, I vote investigate thoroughly, catalog everything. Yes. Because gear. New items make people die less quickly. Hmm. We want to cancel any of these? Oh, uh, well, we have five, so... I mean, Morvagi are going to be the most... Prominence, and they're the most important ones to do. All right. So I think the rest we can probably not bother with for now. All right. Until they become a problem. Aralia is back to action, so we can send her to help secure things. And same with Gabrant. All right. Yes, no more poking things just because you want to see what happens when you poke the thing. <laughs> Alright. 
I get one ingots, one, two spell threads. Nice. A talisman uh, of power. 0.7 bonus damage. I mean, talisman of power just sounds like a Panara thing. <laughs> sure, okay. All right. All right. Do, we want, do we want to prepare defenses or keep exploring? Oh, we had nothing to prepare against, and the uh, oh god, the look over here. Yeah, there's two infested tiles after that. <laughs> this is a fucking black storm forest. Oh, yeah, I still the name. <laughs> We're going there. Okay. Uh, black storm. Gather... Move out. <laughs> All right, what event do we get? Well, shoot. If it weren't for this heartwood, Blackstone Forest would have been a complete waste of time. Yeah, I forgot how much work actually taking down a tree is. You'd think an online work here would be the most exciting thing we'd do in a day. Nah, my arms are all wobbly, too. I think it's different muscles from the fighting ones. Panaro could probably tell you the details. So, how about it? Are you in the market for a new bow? Stuff looks particularly springy. Since when are you an expert? I don't need to be an expert. Look at that green. It's gorgeous. Is it just me or did the trees seem to be rather close in here? That looks like, yeah, that looks like a hand. <laughs> it was not just her. <laughs> oh boy. What do we do? Uh, I don't know it's probably gonna be a single individual, like a mini boss. So we can probably take it if it's just one thing. All right, let's do it. It's like in my experience, it's like these one and done boss fights that aren't too tough. But later on, so yeah, it's just a single forest guardian. We can't see it yet, so let's go in carefully. Ralph's health is uh, not massively high. Let's not do any sprinting in just yet. Let's go as far as our green can take us. There's some fire up ahead. There it is. You revealed it for doing that. So that, thing's got a, that thing's got a lot of hit points. <sighs> Start hitting it. Oh, nice. Alright. It was in the fire, took more damage, and it got blocked. Ha! Killed it. Nice. Ooh. A, a, dueling, a dueling sword. That's something for Gabrop. Alrighty. Yeah, get rid of that fucking club. <laughs> Do we want to give it a different name? I would call the Vermilion's Edge Plus Marissa's thanks. I think we're alright. Well, that was unexpected. Pack up the wood. Let's go. Heartwoods. Three. Maybe with it. Alright. Do we want to build the uh, do we want to build a forestry here? Yeah, that's best. I say we uh hmm, hunters blind, a lumber yard, or a forest shrine. Uh I mean spell threads and stuff are more later tier stuff, so I I go for the basics for now. 
So Hunter's blind. Yeah. I would also build basic defenses here since it seems to be going to cross those between two infested territories. Okay. I'll assign uh, Murris into this. We can Everyone have... else then defense tier one. I don't think we can build defenses here because there's nothing here yet. <laughs> we haven't fully secured it 100%. I guess so. Scout the other territory then, I guess. Uh, I'm not. Then we can send everyone else to scout the next one over. It just got infested, but luckily the party is more than two, so we won't get ambushed. Alright, send the, the party back then, because we don't want to send Marasan in by himself. I'm going to have them uh, patrol first. I'll get rid of it. Alright, can Marasan now establish, yes, a defense, basic, seal one. And then we'll regroup and take out the enemies in that area. Yep. Alright, it's been cleared. Just continue for the moment. Alright, let's gather everyone together. Go in. And attack!